An explosion of 3D products are beginning to appear in the marketplace. At the Touch the Future tour in Boston, Massachusetts, Panasonic demoed its latest in 3D TV technology and talked about the future of 3D. This year in stores you will see lots and lots of 3D TVs as well as the new 3D Blu-ray players. Also 3D content is available and being broadcast on DirecTV and it will be offered by ESPN for more than 55 events this year as well as cable companies and other content providers. So 3D is happening for consumers and happening now. So just like any of the other technology innovations, the transition to digital television, first Blu-ray DVD players, first DVD players, we have this slight chicken and egg problem, but we overcome it very, very quickly. In reality, about 8% of the consumer television sold in the United States this year will be 3D. Next year, that number will more than double. So very, very quickly, we believe consumers will adopt 3D. Some content will be analog, being broadcast digitally. Some content is actually being created as HD and broadcast these days. And we'll also have 3D content. So the consumer with these new televisions will be able to enjoy all this content in their home. The high definition televisions, the first ones in the US, became available around June of 1998. So it took about eight years before 100% of all the televisions being sold in the United States were high definition. So that's not too bad considering that there's 100 million households, or 110 million households, and we sell about 30 million television sets a year. So this adoption curve will probably take about four to five years for one half of all televisions sold in the United States to have 3D capability. And then it'll ramp up very quickly after that, two or three more years. Maybe it'll get to 100%, maybe not quite. Remember, not even 100% of consumers have TVs. About 7% of consumers do not own a TV. Well, over the years, many companies have been working on 3D technology. But in order for 3D technology to really be compelling to the consumer, it has to be very, very lifelike. So many of the 3D techniques that were available in the past didn't look very good. So what's happened is, is that Panasonic, working with Panasonic Hollywood Labs, has been able to develop this new standard that leverages the strength a full HD 1080p plus the Blu-ray player to present really compelling images. That's why it's now, because the technology and the capability has matured to the point where you can produce something that the consumer says is very compelling and that they want to buy. The digital television standard in the United States was required by the government. The standard or the method of making a compatible Blu-ray disc that everyone can use or a DVD disc isn't a government standard. Well, 3D is like that. It's not a government standard, but it is an industry standard. It's called the 3D Blu-ray Disc Standard, and that standard has been adopted by the Blu-ray Disc Association. and. Every major manufacturer has agreed to be compatible with that standard, so there's no standards war. And that standard has been released already to manufacturers, and everybody is building to that new standard. And do you guys have any plans to make 3D camcorders or cameras? So Panasonic has already announced a 3D production camera that's used by electronic news gathering teams and producers. And as time goes on, we'll be looking at how to push more 3D products into the household. So I would not be surprised if you saw a 3D camcorder in your future.